What's up guys? We're here today to do my first deck profile. It's one of my favorite decks that I've been playing. Uh, it's a combo deck. It's not really competitive, but I think it's a lot of fun. I like the card art and that's Cyber Dragons. Yeah, Cyber Dragons. Now this Cyber Dragons is kind of a Dragoon Turbo. Um, so I know I'll get a lot of judgment for that. Don't worry about it. But it's pretty powerful. You can get some good uh, boards on your first turn. It also is pretty good going second, um, you know, with the contact fusion and the mega fleet, as well as cards like Zeus, uh, this deck is really strong. And, uh, and I'm actually missing a card. Uh, Gaia the Thunder Charger uh, can actually make it even better. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys this deck. I'm gonna show you some of the combos and I'm gonna show you, uh, you know, some other options you might want to include, you might want to switch out, you may want to, uh, want, may want to invest in as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this, but only after you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so that way you can keep up with some of the stuff that we're doing. Uh, check out the Meta Show videos as well. That series is really cool. Podcast style videos, you can just turn it on in the background and listen to some of the conversations we're having. Um, some really good stuff coming from there and I'm hoping to do more shorter videos like these with the deck lists and combos and things of that sort. So let's get going. All right guys, here we go. The first deck list coming, uh, Cyber Dragons, one of my favorite uh, archetypes, a really fun combo deck, a really easy combo deck to learn. Um, you know, ignore the Pokemon playmat. This is the only playmats they sell at Walmart. Um, I'm going to plan on ordering some, but I'm working on getting some of my own art posted at Ink Gaming. So uh, keep your eyes out for that. That'll be really cool. I'm working with some collaborators as well as to hopefully get some really cool art out there for you guys to enjoy as well. Um, in the meantime, you can check out the affiliate link for Ink Gaming below to get play mats. Really cooler, much cooler than these, this one here. You know, this is super generic, but Let's just jump right into this deck profile. So obviously in a Cyber Dragon deck, we're gonna start with the three Cyber Dragons. Uh, yes, I have three common Cyber Dragons. No, nothing uh, particularly special there. Um, avoid that glare there. Um, the next thing in your deck, uh, the Cyber Dragon is important because you know that's how you get into your Nova and your Infinity. Um, but it, it's effect itself lets it use special summon. So like going second, you can special summon it from hand if your opponent has a monster and you don't. So like, that's a nice little extender effect, but for the most part, your play starters are going to be cyber dragon core, which we play three of in this deck. Um, uh, the effect of this reads, uh, when this card is normal summoned, add one cyber spell spell or trap from your deck to your hand. If only your opponent controls a monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon one Cyber Dragon monster from your deck. You can only use one Cyber Dragon core effect per turn and only once that turn. This card's name becomes Cyber Dragon while on the field or in the graveyard. Uh, which is really powerful because what you can do is you can use it as a combo starter uh, with machine duplication to get your uh, special summons going. And also on top of that, then you can search cards like Cybernetic Overflow, which are great interruptions for your first turn as well, uh, which we'll get into when we start doing the combos. Uh, your other play starter is Cyber Dragon Hers. And this card reads, this card's name becomes Cyber Dragon while on the field or in the graveyard. You can only use one of the following effects of Cyber Dragon Hers per turn and only once that turn. If this card is normal, if this card is special summoned, you can make this card level become five until the end of the turn. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one other Cyber Dragon from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Now, you're not really gonna use the first effect of this much, but the second effect is really powerful because it allows you to add other cards to your hand uh, when you dump this to the graveyard. So there are uh, a couple plays where uh, instead of continuing or as an extension you can you know dump this off of something uh like naxter or you can dump it off of something like foolish burial and continue your plays that way um the next 
card that we play as a play extender or a play starter even is three galaxy soldier. Now I know that uh, some people who play cyber dragons only play two of them. Um, but I find it really powerful to play three because you kind of want to see it in your hand. It, it is a play starter. Um, so I, I play three simply for that reason. And even if you see, get two in your hand, it's not a brick. So, uh, you know, uh, later in this deck, I'll get to a card, my triple tactics talent, which I do not have uh, a real version of, but uh, that card itself bricks pretty hard if you have multiple copies in your hand. And uh, it's really not very good uh, in certain situations. So I only play two because I don't want to see multiple in my hand. Um, and the last Cyber Dragon monster that we're going to play is Cyber Dragon Naxter. Uh, this is a great play extender. Uh, the effect reads, this card's name becomes Cyber Dragon while in the field or in the graveyard. You can discard one other monster, special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one machine monster with 2,100 attack or defense in your graveyard. Special summon it. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except machine monsters. You can only use each effect of Cyber Dragon next or once per turn. So uh, there is the machine monster limit on the end of that. So keep that in mind uh, if you're trying to like go into Dragoon or something, but uh, it's just an extra extender, an extra special summon, but it's not so good that I would play multiples. Like you can maybe play two, but I think that it's a good card to have at one. It's nice to see occasionally, but I don't think that I would prefer to see it every duel. I'd much rather see Galaxy Soldier or her, Core or hers. Um, and so now we'll jump into the spells that help facilitate uh, some of these plays that we're talking about. And first and foremost, we play three Cyber Emergency. And this really just acts as a searcher. You can use it to uh, search your machine, light machine monsters, which is basically the entire deck. Um, and, you know, start your plays from there. So, uh, you know, that that's a key starter for the deck as well, a key extension. So uh, you want to make sure you max out on those. And another card that's uh, a good extender that I like to play at two in the deck is Cyber Repair Plant. Uh, it's good for recurring resources, but it's not so good that I would consider playing three. Uh, I, I feel like when I've played it, um, it, it has some like niche use, uses. It's not, it's not so much like a uh, fall back, back plan or anything like that. It just comes up every once in a while. It's nice to have. Uh, so I played it too, so you see it occasionally, but you don't see it all the time. But the, the, I would say, other than Cyber Emergency, the next most important spell you play is Machine Duplication. So we play three of those because Machine Duplication plus Core or Machine Duplication plus Hers in hand is full combo. So you want to max out on those uh, and, uh, you know, increase your odds of getting that. What this does is it allows you to target a uh, Core or a Hers on the field and special summon two Cyber Dragons from your deck. Um, so, you know, just thinking of this before we get into the combos, you essentially end up with three monsters on board almost immediately, and then you can go into your special summon extra deck plays um, and really start building up your board. Uh, two other cards is, oh, I play two Overload Fusion. You could play a Cyberload Fusion in place of one of them. I found that when I was playing both, I found Overload Fusion more useful um, in, in general, um, but the Cyberload Fusion definitely comes up in certain situations, so it's it, it makes sense to play one of each. Um, but in this particular case, I just played two of the Overload Fusion, and really there's only one card that you're targeting to summon with the Overload Fusion, so it's okay to just play the two. Um, some other generic, more generic spells that we play in this deck include Monster Reborn and Foolish Burial. Uh, I was debating playing 
the Cyber Dragon card that's uh, basically a Monster Reborn, which is the Cyber Rev system, because you can special summon from your hand or the graveyard, and it can't be destroyed by card effects, the monster you summon. But it has to be a Cyber Dragon monster. And I found that, you know, for the benefit of not being able to be destroyed by card effects, uh, I would rather be able to pull any monster from either graveyard using Monster Reborn. Um, so that's why I went with Monster Reborn instead. And then with Foolish Burial, like I said with hers, since it has a graveyard effect when it hits the graveyard, you just activate Foolish Burial, dump hers, um, and then you can pick up your cards from there to continue your plays. So both of those cards are nice generic extenders. Uh, and like I said, I played two Triple Tactics talents. Obviously these are Orca cards because they're not secret rare. Uh, I'm not going to pay $100 for a card when I don't even really play competitively. Um, but this card is too good to not play. Uh, at least it won. Uh, I played it too because you want to kind of see it, but you also don't want to see multiple, so I don't want to play it at three. Um, but it's, it's really powerful, you know, if you're setting up your boarding and steal your opponent's monster and, uh, you know, you, you they've already ashed, so it's hard for them to get around then another uh, form of interruption on their board. So you can, you know, activate this, steal their card, and then continue off with their plays, uh, tribute off their monster so they don't get it back, uh, as well as building up your board. Uh, or, you know, at a minimum, you can draw two. Uh, and, you know, for all those people who don't know what Pot of Greed does, it's basically Pot of Greed. Uh, so that, I mean, obviously the, the cost for this out, like literal cost, money, money cost outweighs, uh, some of its usefulness, but, um, if you don't want to play this, you could play other cards, uh, like brain control that lets you take your opponent's monster. You could also play other extenders. Like I said, with the rev system, uh, instead I would, uh, I would replace these with either a form of interruption or an extender. I wouldn't replace them with like other cyber dragon monsters or something like that. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're looking to replace these more expensive cards in this deck. Uh, and the last uh, spell and trap card is one cybernetic overflow. You only need one because you can search it off of core, um, but it's a very strong trap card. Uh, Honestly, if you were going to get rid of Triple Tactics Talent, if you were going to get rid of both, you could replace one of them with Cybernetic Overflow and the other one with Red System or something like that. But the Cybernetic Overflow is amazing. And it, honestly, in my opinion, it makes your combo, uh, your final board on your combo so much stronger when you can finish with your, not only your monster negates, uh, your negates through your monsters, but also with this uh, trap on board. And what the card says is banish cyber dragons with different levels from your hand face up field and or graveyard then destroy an equal number of cards your opponent controls if this card on the field is destroyed by card effect add one cyber dragon spell or trap from your deck to your hand you can only use each effect of cybernetic overflow once per turn so what you're able to do uh first of all it's important to point out that it does not target so you can hit dragoon with this um so r really what you're able to do is go off on all your plays put you know multiple names of cyber dragons in your graveyard and then on your opponent's turn uh you know whatever their board is you can essentially chain cybernetic overflow to whatever play they're doing and then just essentially wipe their board you usually have at least at least two, uh, sometimes three Cyber Dragon names in your graveyard at the end of your turn. And it, I mean, especially since it's non-targeting, you can really decimate some boards with just one card. So uh, you definitely want to include it at least one, uh, maybe two. Okay, so now for like more generic junk that's not so much Cyber Dragon related, I do play the Dragoon package in this deck. I know, uh, like I said during the intro, I'm probably going to get some judgment for that, but the Dragoon, <laughs> the Dragoon package is so concise and so powerful, I don't see how you can't play it. Uh, especially in a deck like this where you can easily 
set up some negates to get around Nibiru and things like that, and then go into Anaconda. And then not only that, but then at the end you can reabsorb Anaconda so you don't have that low attack monster out there that's susceptible to uh, lowering your life points. Uh, so that, that that's just something to keep in mind, you know, you can judge me all you want about playing Dragoon in a Cyber Dragon deck, but it's strong, so why not? Um, now we're going to get into the hand traps. Uh, I play nine hand traps in this build. Um, you know, you can switch things out for hand traps. If you don't want the Dragoon package, you switch that out for three more hand traps. And it's also important to note that these hand traps are susceptible to change depending on your uh, meta at the time. And, you know, your side deck options could be some of these cards or something instead of your main deck cards. Um, I'm not going to do a side deck for, for this particular build because I think that going over side decks is a little irrelevant for builds like this or for like videos like this because it's so dependent on what decks you're playing against. Um, but we're, you know, we're going to play three Ash Blossom because it's the strongest, <laughs> it's the strongest hand trap, honestly. Um, it stops so many plays, it stops so many decks, it's so generic. Um, so you're going to play three Ash Blossom. Um, now, for the more meta-specific cards, we are going to play three Droll and Lockbird um, because it can shut down some of the plays of the top meta decks, uh, like Virtual World, where you're constantly adding cards from your deck. Um, so it, it, it's pretty good in the meta right now, but it comes out in and out. So like, feel free to change any of these can trap lineups. You know, if you're going to Locals and you want this deck at Locals, um, like nobody at locals play plays the top two decks in the meta right now like it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to play to roll and say the best person there plays you know dragon link combo and then it doesn't make any sense to play these i'd much rather play something like gamma um so just keep that in mind these, these are susceptible to change and the last one is artifact lancia um because virtual world and drytron uh and dinosaur all predicate on banishing cards to get their effects so uh, Lancia can stop those plays. Uh, now, you know, like I said, it's dependent on what decks you're playing. So if you only want to play one Lancia or two Lancias and switch uh, switch Droll out for three Gamma and a Driver or something like that, like that would make sense to me too. Uh, and that's something I went back and forth on. But for this particular video in the meta in January 2021, I think that that uh, hand trap lineup is probably the best. And now it's toolbox time. Uh, yes, we're going to do the extra deck, uh, which, you know, I, I do like to think of it as a toolbox. It's a toolbox you are, always have access to, uh, you know, to extend your plays, to make your plays, but also, you know, if you get stuck, if you're in a pinch, it's something that you can look to to actively use. It's like a second hand, essentially, what cards you can and can't play at that time. So to start off with, we're gonna play Two Cyber Dragon Nova. Um, this card is pretty powerful, and uh, you know it's part of your combo. You go off from the Cyber Dragons into Nova, uh, and part of the effect of Nova is that if it gets uh, sent to the graveyard or destroyed by a card effect, you can then special summon a machine type monster from your extra deck. Uh, so the card that we're going to include in the deck. To accommodate that or to take advantage of that is Invoked Mechaba. It is a light machine monster, so it goes right along with the archetype. And what this is, what what this essentially can do, is uh, say you have a board or some, or you're setting up your board and they, you know, tank Nova and your play kind of stops, uh, but then you get Mechaba out. At a minimum, you have negates then through Mechaba as well as a 2500 attack body. So uh, Mechaba is nice to include. You have the room for a spare card or so in there. So why, why not have that in there for that backup play? Your next uh, extra deck cards are going to be Cyber Dragon Infinity. Uh, this card is designed to overlay on Nova as the full materials, and then it can reabsorb cards. So when we get into the combos, uh, you'll see how we take advantage of that. 
and it's just a pretty strong card. It gains attack for the materials it has on it, um, and it also has some uh, negate abilities as well. So uh, I definitely would play Nova and Infinity at two. Uh, some decks play uh, one or the other, especially Nova, since you you know end up uh, getting rid of it. They only play a one. But I think that these cards are too strong to not play at two. And you never know, you know, your Nova gets wiped and you get out of Mecha, but maybe the next turn you're able to extend and go into another Nova and start your play from there. So I, I think it's important to um, to play those at multiples just in case that happens. Uh, we'll go into some more Cyber Dragon cards here. For this particular build, I play two of the Khmer Tech Rampage Dragon. This is your target off of Overload Fusion, uh, and it's it's really your OTK generator. Um, basically, you uh, get rid of some Cyber Dragon cards, and what you're able to do is attack multiple times, um, up to three times. And it, I mean, if you have one of these on the field and you activate that effect, that's uh, 6,000 damage and then on top of that if you have you know any other card out then you're able to attack multiple times um, So you're usually able to OTK if you can get this out So it's a very powerful card you you want to have it in your deck at at least one The reason I play two is because if it somehow gets outed especially since I play two overload fusion or something I find that it sometimes comes up where you want to uh, summon the second one uh, especially if you're going pushing for a game but you could also take one of those out and play uh you know seeger which i have over here i don't play it in this particular build but you could you know play seeger um or you could take one of those out what I, what i would actually do if i had the card is i would take one of those out and play the gaia thunder charger instead um and i'll show you the combo where gaia thunder charger shows up but I think that Gaia Thunder Charger would come up more often and be stronger than the second Rampage Dragon. Um, but I don't have that card, so I play two Rampage Dragon. Um, and the last Cyber Dragon cards we play are Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon and Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon. Um, both contact fusion, so you don't need overload fusion for those. Um, and obviously, Mega Fleet can steal your opponent's monsters in the extra monster zone. Um, and they're just both very powerful cards as far as uh, being able to use your extra deck without any extra cards, uh, similar to like Link Summoning, I would, I would equate it to. Um, so you definitely want to play one of each of those. If you have room for some reason you want to play an extra Mega Fleet or something, like not a terrible choice. I just don't see it coming up more than once in a duel, so I, I would not necessarily play multiples. Um, so some you know generic link cards we play a nightmare unicorn a nightmare phoenix and salmon great almirage the almirage uh enables you to go into your plays without necessarily worrying about getting uh decimated by card effects during your play on the first turn um phoenix and unicorn are pretty generic link monsters you could really substitute them for a multitude of things but i think the spell and card uh, spell monster removal that they present uh are too good not to include as toolbox cards um but if you have a better idea let me know like i said you could replace one of them with seeger or one of them uh with the guy if you want to replace unicorn with the thunder charger that would make sense uh to me a little bit too um so ju just keep these options in mind you have options um there's some room to play with in here um but i, I find that this particular setup is what has worked really well for me um I, like I said, I would prefer the Thunder Charger instead of two Rampage Dragons, but other than that, I think this build is really good. Um, the, you know, obviously the Anaconda and uh, Dragoon package, uh, you know, part of the combo is going into Anaconda and then making Dragoon, and, you know, Dragoon just wins duels on his own, so um, that's pretty strong to have in there. Um, and then the last card is, of course, big old thunder boy zeus uh i was very excited i just got this card this week uh so i was able to start throwing in some builds and the nice thing with zeus 
is that's part of the Thun Gaia Thunder Charger play is you end up with enough materials under Zeus to board white twice. Um, and that's really strong in the meta because you can interrupt and then if, even if they cancel that out or something, you can interrupt again because uh, it's not once per turn. So, uh, you know, that, those are the extra deck monsters I suggest playing. I think if I was going to make any changes right now, I would take out the second Rampage Dragon and put in a um, Guy of the Thunder Charger. So keep that in mind. But other than that, I think the deck is really strong. I think that... Uh, I, I don't know that I would change a whole lot. Uh, you know, here and there, the hand traps, I, I could see you changing the hand traps. I could see you uh, manipulating some of the ratios with like spells and traps and stuff. But I think the Cyber Dragon monsters themselves and the way the deck operates um, works really well with this particular build. So if you like the uh, Cyber Dragon monsters, if you like the build, please leave a like below and uh, look forward to more awesome builds like this. And, you know, look into these combos that I'm about to show you because they, they show you the real power of the deck. I think this is a good like fun rogue option. I don't think that it's going to be meta competitive, especially in the control meta that we have right now, this being like a combo deck. So keep that in mind. It's not necessarily going to be the most competitive, but it's a lot of fun. The art's cool. Um, it's one of my favorite decks just to goof around with. So um, I appreciate you checking it out. Let's get over to the combos so that way you know how to use this deck. So we're first going to start with what is probably the most powerful uh, combo, and it's this two-card combo with Machine Duplication and Cyber Dragon Core. What you're going to do is start with these two in hand, and you're going to Normal Summon Cyber Dragon Core, and activate Machine Duplication, which, uh, you know, special summons two Cyber Dragons from your deck. Uh, the effect of Cyber Dragon Core will also add uh, Cybernetic Overflow to your hand. Um, what you're then able to do is Xyz summon Nova using two Cyber Dragons, and you can Link summon uh, using Core into Almirage. Now, uh, what's important to note here is that the Almirage will protect your cards uh, while it's out from, uh, you know, being destroyed by card effects. But that doesn't include being tributed, which is what Nibiru does. So if you're trying to play around Nibiru and you're trying to save yourself a summon, you can skip the Almirage summon. Um, but I like to include it because it's a little bit more protection and a lot of people aren't main decking the beer right now anyway. Um, so it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, then what you're able to do is uh, activate the effect of Nova, which uh, allows you to detach and special summon a Cyber Dragon. And then you can overlay Cyber Dragon Infinity on Nova as the whole material and link summon uh, Cyber Dragon and Almirage into Proto Plant Vert Anaconda. And now you're going to activate the effect of Proto Plant Vert Anaconda to send your Dragoon package to the graveyard. Special summoning Dragoon. Um, obviously, I didn't like pick particular zones for this combo tutorial, but you're going to want to be careful about what zones you pick in because Drytrons is playing Genators right now as well as Anima. Um, so, you know, be careful about what zones you put certain cards in, uh, or else they might get swiped. So, um, you know, I just put them in particular, in per uh, not particular zones right now, but make sure you're being conscious of that when you're actually playing. Um, so then the last thing you're able to do is you can then, uh, use the effect of infinity to absorb Anaconda. Now, infinity can also steal your opponent's monsters that are in face attack position as well. So if you really wanted to, what you could do is leave Anaconda out and swipe one of your opponent's monsters. Um, but that's a little bit riskier because then you're leaving Anaconda out and susceptible to attack. But the payoff of that then is if, you know, somehow it is worth it to you to send the life points, you can use Anaconda again next turn to send Overload Fusion to the graveyard and Special Summon uh, Rampage Dragon. Uh, which is nice, uh, you know, if you keep this board up and then are able to add a Rampage Dragon, it's essentially an OTK there. Um, but the last part of this, you know, is to set uh, Cybernetic Overflow. So now you have uh, negations through monsters, 
as well as the uh, powerful negation through overflow. And we have two uh, different cyber dragons in the graveyard, which means that we can banish two of our opponent's cards um, without targeting and uh, any cards. So you could do spells, traps, or monsters. Um, so this is probably the best end board for a two card combo that you can end on, but also your deck is full of extenders. So, you know, with those two cards, you can get to here, but if you get stopped, you can usually extend and still get to a, like a Dragoon and an Overflow at least. Um, or you can at least get to an Infinity, which I'll show you the combo later that, uh, you know, uses Infinity specifically. But um, this is a pretty strong end board. So. So the next combo is essentially the same as that first combo, except now we have hers instead of core. So you're going to follow the same steps. You're going to normal summon hers, you're going to activate machine duplication, you're going to add your two cyber dragons, you're going to summon Nova, you're then going to summon Almirage, and you're then going to summon Infinity, or sorry, you're going to detach a monster, and then summon Infinity and Prey Plan Vert Anaconda. And then you're gonna summon Dragoon, sending the package to the graveyard. And then uh, you can reabsorb Anaconda again. But the difference here is that Core doesn't add, or Hearst doesn't add the uh, Cybernetic Overflow like Core does. So uh, it's not quite as good of a board because you don't have the trap down here, but you have, you still have the two very strong monsters. Uh, on board with the same uh, effect. So uh, this is also a very good combo. So that's why we play three core and three hers and three machine duplications because those are the two best combos. So the next combo is kind of like a, uh, it, it's these two, it's Galaxy Soldier and hers plus one other normal sum summonable monster so you know we'll just say that this is a monster that can be normal summoned uh so essentially what you're going to do is you're going to have this normal summon monster which can uh you can kind of normal summon whenever um you're going to activate the effect of galaxy soldier to special summon it in defense position and send hers to the graveyard and when uh when that happens what you're going to do is you're going to add a cyber dragon card and another galaxy soldier to your hand then you're gonna activate the effect of that Galaxy Soldier again because it's not once per turn, and send that Cyber Dragon to the graveyard as well as special summon that in defense position. And now what we're able to do is overlay those for Nova. We're able to, you know, uh, send this away for Almirage. We're able to um, detach a material, and even if so, say that. Normal summon monster is uh, doesn't have the attack criteria. What is it? One thousand or less attack. You don't have to summon Almirage. So, like in this particular case, I had Cyber Dragon Core, which you can go into that. But say that you had, I, I don't even know. Um, what are some of these? Um, Say you had Lancia, oh, that's not normal summonable. I don't even know if there is a normal summonable card in the deck that doesn't meet the effect of Elmerage. But say, say for instance, it has more than a thousand attack, you can just leave that card out and skip the Elmerage summon, and then you effectively end up with the same thing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna attach this to special summon a Cyber Dragon. Uh, that's where we were at. And then, you know, overlay for infinity. And now we're gonna go Anaconda, Dra Dragoon, Absorb the Anaconda again. So what we ended up with is the same exact board, um, but we required the one normal summoned monster. But that's also why I play three Galaxy Soldiers because you can see how strong that uh, combo is as well. So the last combo is a great going second combo. Uh, say your opponent has a monster in face up attack position over here and you have uh, Galaxy Soldier and hers in your hand again. 
you're going to do the same thing that you did with the last combo. You're going to activate Galaxy Soldier. You're going to send hers, which adds a Cyber Dragon and a Galaxy Soldier to your hand. You're then going to activate Galaxy Soldier again, send the other Cyber Dragon. You're then going to make Nova. Oops. You're then going to make Nova. Um, instead of then detaching a material to go Dragoon and all that nonsense, especially if you don't like Dragoon, you can still do this combo because it doesn't have Dragoon or Anaconda. What you can do is then immediately overlay Infinity. And now you have Infinity with three materials already. Then what you can do is activate the effect of Infinity and take this attack position monster and add it as material to Infinity. So we now have Infinity with four materials. Uh, which is pretty strong. The attack is pretty good. So you should be able to get over quite a few monsters. I, I always forget what the attack addition is. 200 attack for each XZ's material attached to it. So we have four, so that's 800 plus 2100. So that's 2900 attack. So that can get over quite a bit uh, of cards that are being played right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to attack over whatever your opponent has. And... Uh, and then what you're able to do is in main phase two is slap Zeus on there. And now you have Zeus with five materials, which is two board wipes, which is incredibly powerful. And what you're actually able to do is if you have, say you have Gaia, the Thunder Charger, which, you know, I'll just animate in here somewhere, uh, throwing on Thunder Charger. And you throw that on Infinity first, and then you throw on Zeus, and now you have six materials on Zeus, so you have three board wipes for Zeus, which is incredibly strong. Um, so, you know, it, even if you don't like Dragoon, this build still facilitates a pretty strong board, a pretty strong going second option. Uh, so, you, you know, keep in mind what combo you're trying to go for and what uh, board you're trying to out, because that kind of dictates what cards you're going to end, end on, whether you aim for the, the Zeus or the Dragoon, uh, or maybe for some reason you just end on the Infinity even um, to set up your plays for the next turn. But uh, that's about it for the deck profile and for the combos. I hope that this video helped, uh, helped you with building a Cyber Dragon deck, with understanding Cyber Dragon deck, uh, and some of the Dragoon Turbo combos as well as uh, the Zeus play. Um, I think that this build is pretty strong. I think the only change I would make is at the Kaya Thunder Charger if I had one. Um, so please let me know what you think in the comments below, like what changes you would make. Um, obviously, like I said, I don't play competitively or anything like that. So uh, I, I don't have a large pool of people for advice. Um, so I appreciate any advice you guys can give. I appreciate any feedback. I appreciate uh, you just viewing the video even. Uh, so leave a like, uh, subscribe to the page if you like this video, if you want to see some more. Give me some comments about, you know, not only the deck itself, but also the video and let me know what I can do to improve deckless videos in the future. I don't think they'll all be in person. I don't have a huge uh, bank of cards to do in-person deck profiles, but I happily was able to do the Cyber Dragon profile because I do have all these cards. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, I appreciate all of you. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And we're back. Uh, thanks for joining me for this deck list. It's the first one. So give me some feedback in the comments about how I can make it better for you. Um, what you thought of the deck list itself. What you think of Cyber Dragons even. Uh, like I said, it's one of my favorite decks just to play around with. It's not necessarily the most competitive, but it is certainly fun. You can definitely splash some very strong uh, cards in there that make the combos very powerful. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm very interested to hear some feedback. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. Check out the links below for, uh, you know, merch for the Instagram page, things like that. I try to do uh, pretty good deckless profiles on the Instagram page. Uh, if you want to see this deck on the Instagram page, it's there. Uh, so you can always catch the card list there as well. So thank you for joining me. Uh, please come back and check out videos as I continue to post them. I appreciate all of you for joining me. Yo!